trimming the pour over I threw a couple of days ago. This one's been stamped with the peacock eye pattern, which gives it a raised surface that the filters don't stick. Uh, it's been left to dry until it's fairly dry, but it's been left to dry the right way up, so the other way up to this. So the rim dries slightly more than the bottom, so the grip, gif and grip doesn't squash it at this point. <laughs> What I'm looking to do is make a single hole through the centre um, that goes to a very sharp point and then doubles back on itself. Um, that way the coffee should run really cleanly down and not come around and go out the sides, which you can do if that's too rounded. Um, or you could just make it the wrong shape. But the main thing seems to be whether or not it's rounded. The glaze can round it off, but if you're not careful when you trim it and it doesn't go to a sharp edge and doesn't double back, um, that can ruin it too.
slight wobble. trimming things, especially when you've got a fairly smooth clay, is get a hard rib and burnish it. It saves so much sanding afterwards. And if the clay's at the right level of dryness, you can polish it to an almost mirror finish. And you basically don't need to sand afterwards. And people will still comment on how smooth the bottom of your pucks are. So I very rarely sand other than to remove bits of kiln wash or something that's picked up. They're generally smooth enough after they've been thrown that they don't need any sanding. It would be a bit different if you've got um, a really groggy clay because the grog will work its way back out and there's not a whole lot you can do about that. Uh, another very useful tool around the end of a teaspoon. You get a nice burnished corner things like this. The teaspoons are pretty much ideal. And then I do load a stem there. And then I have thrown a few different sizes of this shape of piece and then I'll match one to that. Wax resistor ring there, glaze everything but that, stand it on that during the firing, if glaze runs and drips, it gets caught in there and doesn't stick. Um, and it means that the entire thing's glazed other than a small band that that sits on.